Hello my dear friends and my dear students assalamu alaikum and welcome back welcome back to lesson for you dear friends as you know that we are discussing about the structure of the human eye right so in the previous lecture uh, i recorded about sclera right and the structure and functions and everything of sclera we have covered then the lectures before that we have recorded about the structure of cornea as you can see on the whiteboard we have drawn it and we have in detail discussed about the structure of cornea now we are going to discuss about the second layer about the middle layer of the eye that is the vascular layer or we say that that is the neutral layer that is choroidal layer or it's also known as the uveal tract right so let me write here we are discussing about uveal tract right so where is actually uveal tract look carefully let us take the help of this diagram or let me draw a very uh, simplified diagram here friends for example if this is an eyeball right this is an eyeball and uh, this black layer shows the sclera and interior to the sclera the interior bulging is your cornea as you know that our eye is composed of three coats or three layers the outer fibrous layer as i had told you in the previous lecture this is called your sclera right this is sclera and uh, the inner the innermost i'm talking about the innermost uh, neural layer this is your retina right this is your retina we say the innermost layer is the retina and the layer in between the retina and the sclera look carefully the layer of the eye or the coat of the eye in between the retina this is your retina and this is sclera so the layer in between retina and sclera this is your uveal tract in simple words this is our uveal tract so uveal tract begins from where and ends at where look carefully this uveal tract is divided into three sub parts the uveal tract is divided into how many parts into three sub parts look carefully like this right so look this is uveal tract so the uveal tract as i told you before is in between the sclera and the retina right so it contains a lot of blood vessels and everything we will discuss right now in a big detail look from here up to here right so we say we say from the optic disc right this area is your optic disc right and at this point we will see while we will discuss about the vitreous chamber this is your ora serrata right we will see what is ora serrata in the next lecture we will see in completely so from the optic disc right up to the ora serrata ora serrata or serrata the part of the uveal tract is called the choroidal layer or choroid right so we say that the uveal tract is divided into how many parts it is divided into three parts look carefully we will divide it later first of all we write that what is uveal tract uveal tract is the middle layer the middle layer or the middle coat of i the first thing the next important thing about it it is the vascular layer vascular layer so vascular layer means it contains lots of blood vessels and why these blood vessels come here because these blood vessels are responsible to supply blood to the outer layer structures and to the inner layer structures right so the we say that the whole eye i mean the inner parts of the eye the inner structures of the eye get their nourishment from the uveal tract so we say it is a vascular layer and it is nutritive layer of the eye it gives nutrition to the eye so we say nutritive layer 
of i right so that is the point and the next important point divisions we say into how many parts does this uvl track is divided look carefully as i told you before there from optic disc up to the ora serrata this is called the uh, choroid right so what is this this is choroid right and then from the ora serrata anteriorly this triangular part of this uvl track right this triangular part of this uvl track is called the ciliary body as you can see here i have drawn it this is your ciliary body you can see it in this diagram also this is ciliary body so let's name it ciliary body right okay so divisions are the first one is choroid right the second one is your ciliary body and what is ciliary body we will see in the next lecture so what is ciliary body the interior right the interior triangular division as it is it has a triangular shape so the anterior triangular part of the whole uvl tract is called ciliary body and then further forward this ciliary body narrows down and gives uh, a very small branch like this and from there also right so this is called your iris so if you draw it here it will become like this right like this so what is this this is your iris so the third part of the uvl track is your iris and we will have a complete lecture on iris also so that is your iris right done then in between the iris there is a small hole and that is called your pupil now if we draw this diagram from anterior aspect how the eye will look if you draw this diagram from anterior aspect look carefully this is your eye right and you are looking anteriorly and this is your cornea right and behind the cornea there will be the chamber right and if you look into the cornea you will see the structures like this and all these are your iris what is this this is your iris right so in this diagram we have made a section here and we are looking from the side from the lateral side or from that side that's why it's appearing like this otherwise this is your pupil right and all of these are your iris so this structure has been dissected here and we can see it from lateral view that's why it appears like this right done then there will be the triangular shape and that will be on that side so the triangular shape then there will be there what is this this is your ciliary body right and about the ciliary body and going behind right that will be your choroid right so actually the second the middle layer or the second layer of the eye is called uvl tract and it is divided into three parts the choroid right which begins at the optic disc and goes up to the ora serrata so this is your choroidal layer and then from ora serrata interiorly a little bit anteriorly these are the triangular part of the choroidal layer that is called your ciliary body and then further anteriorly it becomes a narrower part of the choroid uh, uvl tract that is called your iris done now we will record them in different different lectures right so the first in the first lecture we will record about this part that is your choroid so let's see the structure of choroid in detail i will draw a diagram right and i will show you all those structures which are present there so first of all as you can see here this is your sclera right so let's see all these structures in a very simplified way first of all here we have 
our sclera. I have taken a piece of the eye, right? I've taken a very small piece like this part. I have enlarged it here, right? So here is our sclera, right? And about sclera, I had told you that it is a fibrous layer, right? It contains collagen fibers, and those collagen fibers are having varying angles and varying size and varying diameters, right? And it is opaque, a little bit opaque in nature. So this is your sclera. Now, if you remind the previous lecture, look carefully. We had said that, look, this black color is our sclera, right? Below the sclera, we have the supracoroidal lamina, right? So here is like this, look. If I draw it like this, that will be a very bitter representation, right? So here is our supracoroidal lamina right look this is sclera we are discussing about the structure of choroid right this is sclera the outer layer then below the sclera what is this layer this is our supra choroidal lamina done and about supra choroidal lamina i have told you in the lectures regarding the structure of sclera you can go and watch those lectures i will give the link of those videos in the description of this video you can watch them so there is supra choroidal lamina then there is your actual choroidal layer right then there is our actual choroidal layer so this is our choroid Done. Very good. This is our choroidal layer. As I told you, I have taken a piece of small, small piece of it. Then above the choroidal layer, we have something else that I will show in the next. Uh, there, right now, I will show. Look carefully, friends. In between the sclera and the choroid, there is a layer that is called suprachoroidal lamina. Right. In this layer, there are some nerves and arteries which are going anteriorly. Now, if you remind this lecture, right, if you watch this lecture there, you can see that, uh, for example, if this is our eyeball, right, and here is cornea, right, and uh, here is your choroid. This is the choroidal layer. That's a very simple diagram. And between the choroid and the sclera, we have what I told you we have. Yeah, we have our suprachoroidal lamina. Right? And in this lamina, there I had told you in the previous lecture that there are short ciliary nerves. Right? Short ciliary nerves entering the piercing the the, the, the piercing the sclera and entering the eyeball right so the short ciliary nerves are going into the suprachoroidal lamina that's so simple right so they are going further forward and going towards the ciliary body so what is this this is short ciliary nerve done then there are short ciliary arteries then there are short ciliary arteries and these arteries are also going into the suprachoroidal lamina right so short ciliary 